I'm Donna. Today I'm going to show you how to make an origami bookmark. I have two Halloween themed designs available to download for free if you'd like to make the same designs as these. They were cut out from paper on a Cricut cutting machine but these could also be cut by hand. Once you have downloaded the SVG file, import it into Design Space as a cut file. Add it to your canvas. Ungroup the elements by clicking on it clicking on Arrange and selecting Ungroup. Highlight the top grey square and the two sides of the spider web and then click Attach on the bottom right of your screen. Repeat with the bottom grey square and the pumpkin shape. If you only want to wait one of these designs, use the panel on the right to hide the unwanted design. Attach your paper to a light grip mat. Paper with a different colour either side works best, but if you do not have any, a separate piece of paper in a different colour cut to the same size as the outline and glue to the rear of the design sheet after cutting also works or you could use white paper and colour the paper in a cut design of your choice. Change the cut type to intricate cuts and change the pressure to less. A useful tip is to ensure that your paper is stuck really well to your mat by using a brayer. This will minimise the risk of any tears in the design as it is cut. To fold your origami bookmark, the first thing you want to do is to fold your paper diagonally with your finished face on the outside. So for me, I am having the orange on the outside and the white back. So I'll fold this downwards like this. Taking care to really line up those bottom two corners. really crease that line. The next thing we need to do is to fold the triangle in half vertically and then unfold it again so we have a crease going down the centre. So we fold it again lining up the corners. And creasing. And then we'll open that up again. Now the next thing you need to do is to flip the design so that the cut side is on your work surface and the point of the triangle is downwards. And then as you can see at the bottom we've got these two flaps. We want to just take the top flap and lift it upwards to the centre of the triangle and crease it along this bottom line. The next thing we need to do is to fold the points of the triangle down and towards the middle so that both the triangle side points are meeting at the bottom point of the triangle and the sides of the design are touching. So you want to be careful that you're lining up these two sides evenly because this is your design so you want these two to match up. So we want to make sure that we are lining up those designs. paper I'm using is quite thick so this is a little bit awkward to do. So you may need to just play around with it slightly to get the design even. And then once you've got the design in the right place you can go ahead and crease lines. The next thing we need to do is fold the bottom points up to the top of the diamond shape to create a horizontal folding line and then we're going to re-unfold them. So this one we are creasing up to, it's actually very slightly below because this is going to be inserted into the design. We want it very slightly lower than the top edge. This one, we want to make sure there's no overlap as they're going to have to sit next to each other. So just be careful that we're not creasing this too. We want to match up those bottom creases also so that it's nice and even. So 
once you've done that unfold them again and then we are going to open out the design slightly and you can see there's like a little pocket so what we're going to do is put these inside back on themselves into the pockets so it can help if you just recrease that line the opposite way and then they should fairly easily just slide inside push them right to the ends flatten out the design again and then you might want to just repress all of your creases to help the design lay flat and there's the design that's a little pumpkin face these origami bookmarks are a part of a set of different types of Halloween bookmark designs that I am giving away. Check out the linked video at the end of this one if you'd like more details on the cutaway skull design, cutaway Halloween words design or the print and cut pumpkin design bookmarks. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future videos. Thanks for watching.